Bigger crowd out today, despite the heat. So lane assignments for heat three. In lane one, we'll have Courtney Jones from Florida State. In lane two, Tia Thevin from Syracuse. Lane three, Madeline Okabundu from North Carolina A&T. In lane four, Karina Joyner from Harvard. Lane five, Natasha Dixon, North Carolina. Lane six, Ciara Leonard, Virginia. In lane seven, Demetria Mitchell, Florida. And in lane eight, Kayla White, North Carolina A&T. Pretty evenly matched field here. Definitely, yeah. You have White and Jones, the two bookends there. White's 1291, 14th best in the nation, followed by Jones, 1293, 15th best. And there you see White, the MIAC Conference champion from North Carolina A&T. A&T in North Carolina, some solid hurdlers and a lot of representation this weekend in Tampa. Yeah, Kayla White has some experience, as does Thevin and Jones, 15th. 13th, 13th, 15th, and 21st at the semis last year at the NCAA championships with Kayla White running 13-29. So she looks to be better this year. So Kayla White in lane eight, the favorite. Away we go. Devin off to a nice start. Okubundu looking really good, but on the inside, Ooh. Courtney Jones. Wow. And that's it's White. White on the outside and a late move in the middle there uh, from Leonard of Virginia. Tough to tell. It was a lot going on near the finish line. Jones on the track now. Not sure what happened there. Yeah, she took a spill, but she got the win at 13-10. With Leonard and White, your next two automatic qualifiers. Oka Bundu had a nice surge in the middle of the race. We'll have to wait for a time qualifier, although 13-35 probably good to move on to the next round. So let's see how that one went down in heat three. So the runner up in ACC, Courtney Jones getting a great start. But on the outside, Kayla White starts to come on to about the fifth hurdle and just starts to dominate this race. Yeah, just so aggressive over those hurdles. Yeah. Takes a long time for to get those levers yeah. going. She let up, White certainly let up before the line and uh, Jones took advantage, but she did hit the turf. Hope she's okay there.